How is it made? A car. Well, to find out how a car is made, I've come here to a huge car factory. Every car here starts off as one of these. A big roll of metal called steel. The rolls of steel are loaded into a machine called a decoiler. It rolls the steel out and flattens it. The flattened steel is then cut into squares called blanks inside this machine. Listen to the sound it makes. It sounds like a train going over tracks. Each blank goes through this machine. It's called a press. Inside, a heavy weight pushes down on the flat piece of metal to give it the shape of a car part. It's a bit like a very heavy stamp. Know what car parts these are going to be. Can you see? It's a car door. As well as car doors, the press cuts out bonnets, that's the front of the car, car roofs, and the long pieces that make the sides of the car. So many parts! It's amazing, isn't it? And all these cut out car parts are called panels. When the panels are ready, they're taken to the next area of the factory called the body shop. The body shop is huge and this is where all the different parts of the car come together. But can you see that as well as production workers, there are lots and lots of robots. There is so much going on inside the body shop. I'm going to use my special camera to catch as much action as possible. Are you ready? Let's go. These robots are putting on the sides of the car. And these robots are doing something called welding, where they use very hot metal as glue to stick the panels together. The sparks look great, don't they? And these robots check the car over before it's sent on to the next stage. When all the panels have been attached together, you get this. It's called the shell. It's really beginning to look like a car, isn't it? There are lots 